HIPAA tries to be as quick and to the point as possible. When it comes to hepatitis, you need to know if it's acute or chronic. You need to know the route of transmission. You need to know how do you investigate it, what type of lab do you order to find it, and then how do you treat it. There is five types of viral hepatitis that we'll concentrate on. is A, B, C, D, and E. We'll ignore hepatitis G for now. That's what we'll talk about. The first one is hepatitis A. Know this, it's acute, it's never chronic. You can never get a chronic liver disease from hepatitis A. The route of transmission is fecal oral. The investigation that you do is hepatitis A, IgM antibody, and the treatment is supportive. There is no specific therapy for it. For hepatitis A antibody, what you order usually in the في كل labs is total. But so you know if acute hepatitis, you have to check the IgM because the total is IgG plus IgM. So anyone who was vaccinated when he was a kid or had the infection will be positive. So check this. Can you die from hepatitis A? Can you need a liver transplant? And the answer is yes. In less than 10% of the cases, 90% will just get cured. Next is hepatitis B. Hepatitis B could be acute or could be chronic. Hepatitis B, it's very important to know when was the infection. If you get the infection as a child, 90% you will get into chronicity. If you get it as an adult, 10% it will get into chronicity. Hepatitis B can lead to chronic liver disease, can lead to fibrosis, can lead to cirrhosis, and as a complication, HCC, which could happen even in non-cirrhotic liver. Hepatitis B can be transmitted through blood, transmitted sexually, HIV drug use, or fetal maternal from a mother to a fetus. These are the most common ways of transmission. تحليل هيباتيتس بي اللي هتعملها هي هذه الستة أهم واحد فيها is the service antigen. هتنزل تحت في الرابط هتلاقي شرح لها بالتفصيل. Our medication that you can use for hepatitis B and it all depends on the activity and the fibrosis. Depends on PCR if it's more than 20,000, on normal liver enzyme if it's high, and if there is fibrosis. So you have to assist your patient to see if they need treatment. And if they do, these are the options al an Entecavir, Tenofovir, or TAF. Tenofovir is TAF, but TAF is the newer version with less side effects. These are the best options. The treatment that we use for hepatitis B is targeting the virus, making the virus lower and decreasing complication. No available cure now. Third one, hepatitis C. Could be acute or could be chronic. Very rarely it could be acute, mainly chronic. It could happen in low immunosuppressive states like HIV, for example, but usually chronic. Route of transmission is almost similar to hepatitis B, but it's less likely to be transmitted sexually very lower the transmission sexually. In terms of investigation, it's the hepatitis C antibody that we do, and if it's positive, we do the hepatitis C PCR. In terms of treatment, there is treatment with a cure rate of more than 95%. 95% you can cure hepatitis C with medication. Without medication, the virus can disappear by itself in about 15 to 20%. Another question in the SMLE. الأدوية الجديدة اللي هي هيباتيتس سي ما هو دواء واحد، هذه كلها أدوية ممكن تستخدم حسب الحالة لازم تعرف ايش الجينو تايب، هيباتيتس سي عنده ستة جينو تايب، أشهر جينو تايب في السعودية هو جينو تايب أربعة، أشهر جينو تايب في العالم هو جينو تايب واحد. فور هيباتيتس دلتا، مطلوب منك معلومة واحدة بس في كلية الطب، you can never get it without hepatitis B. You get B, then you can look for دلتا. Not alone. Number five, hepatitis E. Hepatitis E is similar to some extent to hepatitis A. It's acute, uh, it's fecal oral in transmission, it's common in India, it could happen in pregnant ladies, these are the MCQ questions usually, and the treatment is supportive. Lacking. In some cases, it can be a chronic, and it can happen in post transplant setting, and it can need ribavirin. With the latter, معلومات هذه المفروض بس hepatologist اللي يعرفها, so ignore it. So for you, stick to what I said earlier. Break. Uh, five MCQs. I can show you how they ask about hepatitis in exams. Hopefully. Seriously. Sorry.